Rory says that it wasn't a brilliant plan in the first place. And Hamish McRae, they don't have a political axe to grind, either of them, I swear to you. I know them both very well and have done for a long, long time. And Hamish is saying that, unfortunately, British Vault didn't reach out to the people who perhaps could have got this from being not the most brilliant blueprint, actually into action. What is your take of what went wrong? Because your loss is far greater than either Hamish's or Rory's. Um, thank you, Alistair. Yes, we, it is difficult. Um, it, this was a great project. It was a project that us on the Northumberland County Council were very keen to, to, to succeed. Unfortunately, um, as you said, um, it, it's, it's gone into administration, but I don't think that means that the underlying project is flawed. The location of the site remains the best site in the country for this kind of gigafactory, which we do need. It is a, a site that's got rail links, it's got road links, it's got uh, links to the local port, um, it's got planning permission, which is a big step forward um, for a site of this nature. So. We are let, me, let, let me butt in, David, just say that R R Rory was also saying that, that, that he has read that there are a number of potential investors, whether they be domestic or, or foreign, who are sniffing around, A, that site that we've just put a picture up, uh, but also B, the project. Yeah. Uh, that's correct. Um, I, I do understand that there are um, talks ongoing and there are at least two that we're aware of, um, potential bidders, and these are not asset strippers. These are bidders that want to take the project forward um, mm. as a giga plant, um, as, as, is per, as previously designed. Um, there is um, a power that we have as the council, because we originally sold the land to British Vault, and we have the power to get it back um, if a giga plant um, isn't forthcoming on the site. So we do have a, a, some stake in the game, um, and we are hopeful that we can work with any partner to help deliver that project, um, because it will be a transformational project for this part of the, the country, especially the southeast of Northumberland, which is the most deprived area in Northumberland and desperately needs um, this kind of investment. Do you think, as a Conservative councillor, that a Conservative government could have done more to help you? I mean, I, I said earlier on, as a taxpayer, I and I presume you, you'd agree with this as well, I'm totally happy with, with, with the government saying, look, here's some money to help with this brilliant project. If you guys can match it, British Vault, with inward investment from someone else. Hamish McRae said, you people and Her Majesty the government weren't even talking to the right people to get it off the ground. Um, yes, I, I, I would agree. Um, you know, this is something that will need, will need um, public money support, but that public money support should only be delivered when benchmarks are hit. It is unfortunate that the team that were winning British Vault didn't hit those benchmarks, but I think the, the government were prudent to hold them to that. Now, what we hope is whoever takes the project forward will be able um, to have the expertise and the, the ability to hit benchmarks set by government to release that funding. Now, I understand that that funding is still potentially on the table, Sure. Uh, as long as the, the right um, uh, you know, buyer comes forward. So I don't think the whole project is by any means dead yet. I think there's still real prospect of it going forward with a new investor, if that can be found. 